Alrighty, I'm gonna have to film this intro like super fast because my camera is blinking that the battery is dying. But um, for today's look, I'm gonna be doing sort of a bright, summery, fresh, um, glowy look. I definitely went a bit bold on the eyes, um, for sure out of my comfort zone, but it was fun to try. Um, I kind of wanted to go for like a sunset type of look, so I did a bunch of yellows, oranges, um, and pinks. Um, I'll give you a little close-up right there, a little sneak peek of the eyes. But yeah, if you want to find out how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so for my base, I already went ahead and did my moisturizer, my eye cream, and I did already apply the primer. And then the primer that I'm using today, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. It's super glowy and pretty and perfect for summer um, and perfect for this sort of sunset -y look that I'm doing. Um, and then for foundation, I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild one. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So I figured I would give Luna um, like a little bone to chew on while I filmed this video and I gave it to her and then it took me a little bit longer than I anticipated to like start setting up and everything and she's already finished and I'm like oh my god please please behave this time and not like my last video where she literally barked the entire time. So. For concealer, I'm going to be mixing two of them together today. They are both from Maybelline. This one's the Maybelline Master Conceal, and this one's the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, the Fit Me is a little bit lighter than the other one, and since my tan is starting to wear off a little bit, um, i got to start lightening things up a bit. And I'm also going to take this um, down the center of my face, so on my chin, my forehead, a little bit on my nose too, to highlight. But yeah, definitely if you're going to be highlighting or doing any brightening underneath the eyes, definitely want to make sure that you do the rest of the center of your face too, so it highlights the whole face. Um, and that way it looks cohesive with the rest of your makeup instead of just bright under eyes because that kind of looks weird when it's just that alone. Um, time to set everything. So for powder, I'm be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I love this setting powder. It's from the drugstore. Super, super affordable. I think it's only like seven bucks or something like that. Um, really matte and it definitely keeps my base locked in all day long. So I just like to go under my eyes mostly. And this powder has really helped me too because I am a glasses wearer most of the time. And you know how when you put glasses on you get like the little like markings on the sides of your nose where like the glasses hit? If I put this powder like right here and like bake the sides of my nose, I really don't get that marking anymore. Um, because it just like sets my makeup in so well even if it's like super hot out like it always is here in florida um it still keeps it like locked in place all day which is really nice so yeah just going in doing all the powder and then just taking the excess whatever's left over in the lid Oh, the powder, I'm just taking it on this little Jaclyn Home Morphe brush 
and going over the rest of my face. And I'm just going in with this little tiny sponge, adding a little bit more powder, and just really pressing it all into my skin. So it's not just sitting on top, it's really like pushed into the skin basically, which also helps make it last longer. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and do brows. Now that that is done, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my e.l.f. clear brow gel just to set them. Whenever I do this, I like to brush up and over. So basically like the direction of like where my hairs would go naturally. Moving on to the rest of my face. I'm gonna finish that up now. For contour, I'm gonna use it contour, Con contour. Contour. I don't know why I said that way the first time. Be going in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette and just using the light shade and like the medium shade. Just kind of mix those together, tap it off. Just do a little bronzing. Can't forget our foreheads. I'm gonna do a light little bit of blush going in with the Morphe, what is this, M405 brush? I know, it's kind of rubbing off. And this is the Milani um, Baked Luminoso blush. Ooh, a lot came off when I did that. Add a nice little peachy glow. And then for highlights, where's my highlight? Oh, there it is. Couldn't find the brush. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter, and I totally ripped off like the packaging, so I. You couldn't even see that. Luna, what are you doing? She. I can't even get her. Oh, no. I'm not even gonna try this time. But she literally, like, I think she, like, tried to jump on the other bar stool over there because I just heard it, like, move. What are you doing? Oh, she's such a freak. Anyways, back to the highlight. I'm pretty sure this is called Precious Petals, but I don't exactly know, but I'm pretty sure it is, though. Um. Anyway, it's, like, super affordable. I think it's only, like, four bucks, honestly, from, like, the drugstore and this gives me like the best glow. I freaking love it. Okay, so now that we finally have the face done, we're moving on to the eyes. And I know I wanna do like a sunset look, like super like bright colors, like orangey, yellow, pinks, but I don't exactly know what shades I'm using yet. So I'm just gonna like gonna play around um and you can try and follow along with me if you'd like ew there was a brush hair in my mouth ew i literally don't even know how that happened okay anyway um so this is the morphe m441 brush and i'm gonna be taking um this is the armed and Gor oh my god an eyeshadow literally just fell out well that is never happening before Okay, I'm gonna try to like show you without it falling out again. But I'm gonna be going in with the shade right here. This is called Access. And it's just a really like bright yellow. Here, let me zoom you guys in actually. Is that good? That's good. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just a bright. Oh, I forgot to prime my eyes. It's okay. 
I'm just gonna be taking that shade Access and building it up on my lid. I'm taking this one somewhat higher up than the other ones I'm planning on doing. Um, not like really in the brow, but like kind of like somewhat below the brow because this is gonna be the lightest shade that I use. So I want it to be at the top so it can still be visible when I pack on the darker shades. Um, but yeah, I'm just building this color up in the crease. After I have that build it up, build it up, build up the way that I want it, I'm gonna go in with the next darker shade. This one is called Secure, which is a matte, almost like a burnt orange color. Um, and I'm gonna take that like right in the middle of my crease, like right in the fold of my eye, which is the crease, yeah. So um, a little bit lower than the yellow one but still not really getting it on the lid as much. I feel like I make a really weird blending face. I'm like, I'm gonna try to keep my mouth closed. done I'm gonna switch palettes this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette and I'm gonna be taking this is the JH 33 blending brush hmm. I'm gonna take the shade real gar real gar like that that like deeper orangey color I'm gonna put it on the outer part of my eye. Kind of like the outer V area. I'm blending it up further into my crease. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade. I think I'm gonna use this shade. Oh my God, I don't know how to say it. Venetian Red. I'm just packing this over the shade that I did before, the Real Gar shade. In the outer part of my eye. Going in with one of the blending brushes that I used earlier, I'm just gonna buff out those edges. And I'm kind of like dragging the shadow up and out this way. to give it somewhat of a, not really like a winged effect, but just somewhat angled. And then one more time I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually mix those two shades that I use, Real Gar and the red one, <laughs> and um, stamp that on one more time just to build the color up. A little bit more. And then once again, blending it out. I'm gonna go into, this is the Ring the Alarm palette with Morphe and I'm gonna take, this is a JH41 brush and I'm gonna take the shade, I think first I'm gonna go in with the shade Boom right here, which is like almost like a um, like coppery red and I'm gonna take this on like the inner part of my eye 
going out towards like the middle. Got that done. And then there's this shade. So I have this palette. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. There's a shade in here that I've been like dying to oh gosh almost broke it dying to use like literally since i got it it is right here it's called new money i think it's called new money i think yeah new money and it's just like such a pretty like pinky i don't even know what you say it's like a bright bright pink and it's sparkly the whole palette is like shimmer except for well except for like four shades but it's really it's a lot of shimmer here um, which is why I had to buy it because I love shimmer and I don't know I've just been like really wanting to use that shade in particular So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of it like maybe in the center of my lids um, Yeah, so I don't know How well it's gonna turn out to be honest, but I'm just I just want to see Can you see that? I don't know. It's pretty though Totally said I was going to do it in the center of my lids, but I'm just going right over the previous shade that I put down from the Morphe palette. Because I want this to be a little bit more fuchsia than just like red and like orange and stuff. Now it's turning purple. Ah! I'm going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette. One last time, I'm just going to dip into the two colors that I used before on the crease. Just to bring some of that shadow back that may have gotten lost um, in the pink that I just put down. And just deepening it up one more time. And then once that's done, I'm just going to finish off the eyes. I keep losing all my palettes because I'm like setting them everywhere. Going back into the Ardent and Gorgeous palette and just taking the shade Access one last time and using it to blend everything in together and bring back a little bit of that orangey yellow color that got lost in the upper crease Cool, so now that we have our eyeshadow literally blended up into our eyebrows, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of a highlight shade under the brow to kind of separate it so it's not literally in my eyebrows. Um, back one more time to the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just gonna take this shade Tempura. Focus. I don't know if it's focusing. It's this one right here. And I'm just gonna lightly go right below brow there and I'm just gonna spool out that brow one more time because I literally just got that straight into my brow so that is what we're looking like with the eyes so far I'm gonna go off camera really fast so I can finish up the lower lash line and then pop on some lashes and then we can come back and finish the lips we are back the lashes are on I just used a pair of Ardell dummy wispies there's a little close-up of the eyes right there um, and then to finish up my lower lash line I just went in with like a bunch of shades um, basically from the modern renaissance palette um, used like this shade this shade I mix these shades and then for a little bit of here let me zoom you in again a little bit of like inner corner highlight I went in with this shade for mirror it's like a really light I'm just gonna focus this shade right here the really light um, like champagne pink almost um, and I just like pop that in the inner corner right there. You can see it's like super bright, um, super pretty. Um, and then I also add a little bit of that um, to the shade that I put on underneath my brown bone. So I think it came together really nice. I love the way that the eyes turned out. And then just to finish off the look completely, I'm gonna be going ahead and setting my face with the Morphe um, setting spray right here. doing like a light little mist of that 
And then for lips, this is um, the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. By the way, I totally didn't even mean to use like this many Morphe products, but I just like love that brand. Honestly, they make such good products um, at like such an affordable price. It's like, how can you not like be obsessed with them, you know? Okay, so that is the lip on. I'll do one more close up so you can see um, what everything looks like all together super close. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna end it there. gonna be it for this look today you guys I um, hope you really liked it and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this um, also if you guys have any like video suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments down below so I can see them um, I'm trying to like pre-plan a bunch of videos I'm thinking of doing like a Q&A uh, maybe like get ready with me like story time video or something like that um, but yeah, if you have like any suggestions or anything that you want to see in particular, feel free to let me know. Um, hope you guys have a really great day. Thanks for watching.